Hey there, sixth graders and eighth graders. Happy Tuesday. I'm looking forward to receiving a lot of work from you guys this week and to having a lot of learning happening. This video is going to be short because most of the work today is for you to do independently. So remember, you're going to go to the stream of your Google Classroom and the first thing posted will be that day's work. As you can see by these numbers, I'm not getting work from a lot of students. Five people turned in work, seven people turned in work, five people turned in work. So the amount of failing grades that we have right now are really, really high. We do have to pass our classes to go to the next grade next year. So a lot of you need to get started. Today, we're gonna go and jump on into our Tuesday work. Right here, we see our message that says, it's Terrific Tuesday. Who do you wanna shout out? Show them some love in the comments. And a reminder that you wanna keep your focus this week on Friday, we will have our vocabulary exam and first drafts of our personal narratives due. Do not turn in your personal narrative until Friday. Let's see what we've got. You're gonna go ahead and start off with the do now, like usual, press pause. You can do the do now, and then when you press play, we'll move on. Today's question, which requires four more sentences to answer is, who is a family member that you admire? Go ahead and get to work. All right, if you press play, that means that you are ready for vocab. First, sixth graders, these are the correct answers for page 152, number 16 to 25. 16, earmarked. 17, intensive. 18, valiant. 19, scant. 20, ambiguous. 21, thrive. 22, maneuvers. 23, bulk. 24, sabotage. 25, sabotage. Your job today, sixth grade, is to do synonyms numbers one through 10. Eighth graders, your correct answers for your work yesterday, which was page 152, numbers 16 through 25. 16, bestow. 17, crusade. 18, capacious. 19, levity. 20, defaced. 21, nauseated. 22, voracious. 23, tenant. 24, ungainly. 25, caustic. Eighth graders, you're now gonna do page 152 synonyms. Press play when you're ready for the rest of the lesson. All right, so you must have finished all of that up. What you're gonna do right now is set a timer and work on your personal narrative for 20 minutes. Your rough draft of this is due Friday. You need to have seven or more paragraphs at this point in time in your story. When you're done, this should be two to three pages double spaced. There should be dialogue, sensory details, and a magnetic story starter. In addition, friends, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It's a personal narrative because it is about you and a true story from your life. So please make sure that you're going to your classwork tab, you're looking for it, and you're clicking and opening your personal narrative. I have the prompt written right there to remind you of what you're supposed to be writing, and you should have two to three pages double spaced. I will not be accepting work that is a fictional story about someone else that doesn't answer the prompt. So please, please, please make sure you follow the directions. You're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes to do your writing, and then you're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes to do your reading. Once you have finished all of the work, you're going to click turn in on this, and then I will be able to give you a grade on Jupiter. If you have missing work at this point in time, you need to start catching up, so please try to go ahead and do that. Good luck to everyone, have fun reading and writing, and I can't wait to see your successes. Bye.